I'm here with uh, Dave Luth just west of Percival on his farm, his Century Farm. And uh, Dave, you've had to kind of upend your life in this last week, uh, getting ready for the Missouri River flooding that's coming through? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, we got reports of uh, high releases uh, coming out of uh, South Dakota and also snow melt out of Wyoming coming down, which are going to push the waters to the levee uh, to the record highs of back in 1993. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, possibility of rains are going to uh, make that problem worse, and uh, this is something uh, we have seen in the past and we have been moving out all week. So you've like, so the contents of your house are moved out and you've had grain you've had to, to, to move. Can you just kind of describe the magnitude of that, I guess? Uh, sure, emergency management uh, set, a, set a voluntary uh, evacuation with this situation. Um, it would have been a Sunday. And over Memorial weekend, we made the decision after Memorial service we attended to go ahead and start moving uh, what you would save in a fire. So we started with that first. Uh, my still thought had I had 20,000 bushel of uh, corn still on, but it was a holiday hmm. and had to wait till Tuesday. So on Tuesday, I'd start doing that. The wife would start packing other items, and then things have progressed and changed daily by the reports and got serious enough to where I moved all farm machinery, all uh, furniture out of the house, out of two houses. I've taken the chandeliers off today, had the furnace removed, uh, propane tanks are gone and trash, uh, we're just preparing for the worst and going to hope for the best. Wow, and so you've had to relocate, uh, what, across the river, right? Yes, and we uh, were able to uh, rent a house uh, actually through the Methodist Church in Nebraska City. It's just been wonderful help uh, and actually start out to using that house just for the storage uh, with the possibility of having to live there. Uh, right now, when I leave today, it's going to be um, water off, electricity off, and come back daily just to maintain. I still have to farm, maintain this farm as if nothing is going to happen. That's why I still have a few pieces of machinery available around to do that. Uh, it's um, still going to be uh, business as usual as long as I can. All right. Good luck, Dave. Thank you very much.